let's do some pulp stenciling. Now here's another method of pulp stenciling. I've got, this is black pulp, but about this much pulp in the vat. So not very much. And it's very finely beaten. So I'm really hogging the vat to stir things up. And then I've got a rubber material that's got an adhesive backing on it. This is what I use for watermarks. It's called Buttercut. I cut these by hand, but you can cut them on a machine. And what I'm going to do is pull a sheet of pulp, and the pulp is just going to go into the holes and not where the uh, designs are. And since it's beaten so fine, it's going to take a minute to drain. So I don't know if you can see. The pulp is settling. Now, depending on how thick you make the pulp, I've got a little bit that is settling on top of here. And that'll be interesting. It'll look more like handmade paper uh, versus a print. So with this kind of pulp stenciling, I'm going to laminate or double cooch my sheet onto another sheet. So I could place this anywhere on the sheet. I'll just center it. Now wet pulp to wet pulp should stick pretty well, but I am gonna apply pressure because that pulp is fine. So there we go. I got a few little bubbles. Those are going to press out and then I'll have my pulp stenciling on the sheet. Now you do see the impression of the mold. So often I make two of the same size sheets so they line right up and you don't see any of this. This might look like a frame. We'll see. It might press out. And um, the beauty of this technique is now I can reuse this and make multiples. Now here's the pulp stenciling with that butter cut attached to the mold. I really like the detail that I get here. It's pretty accurate and I've just made two different sheets. You can see the difference. Now putting that smaller sheet on top of the larger did result in some pulp around the edge.